Okay, guys, let's compute this integral. So first, let's move e to the x in front of dx, and you will see in a second why I'm doing that. And the idea is for this integral and for any other integral, if you know, if you have no idea how to do them, is uh, to find something that you don't like about that integral and always try to apply the u sub. So in this case, you can see I don't like that e to the x plus one inside my logarithm. So that's why I'm going to set u is equal to e to the x plus one. So du is equal to e to the x. Uh, times dx. And then uh, you see that e to the x times dx is just my du, so I can rewrite my integral as integral of ln of u over u squared times du. Then observe that derivative of uh, ln is just 1 over u. Or if I'm going to uh, uh, rearrange my integral, I'm going to have ln u over u times uh, du over u. And then I can apply uh, the u sub again. But in this case, what I'm going to say, I'm going to set that my t to be equal to ln of u. And then dt is going to be equal 1 over u times du, or in other words, du over u. And here we can see that's, that that part is dt. Then what I'm going to do about u? But just observe by definition of the logarithm, e to the t is going to be equal to u. So uh, that's why I'm going to have t over e to the t times dt, or in other words, t times uh, e to the power of negative t. And I need to apply uh, integration by parts. And here I'm going to do a lazy version. I'm going to set t1 and e to the negative t uh, minus e to the negative t, where the bottom uh, row is going to be uh, du and v. So in other words, uh, I got uh, the second row by taking derivative of t and integrating into the negative t. And then uh, applying the formula for integration by parts, I'm going to obtain negative t times e to the negative t plus the integral of the exponent, or in other words, uh, negative t times e to the negative t minus my exponent plus a constant c. And that is my answer, but I'm not done. I need to come back uh, to expression in terms of x. So for that, first I'm going to replace t with ln of u, and I'm going to obtain negative ln of u over u, since e to the negative e to the power of ln of u is just u. And then I'm going to re uh, replace u with e to the x plus 1. So I'm going to get finally, as a final answer, uh, minus a fraction ln uh, e to the x plus 1 uh, plus 1 over e to the x plus 1 plus c. And that is going to be my final answer.